Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. All right, another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show right now. Tim, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you very much for asking. And of course, for giving us your time. I know you're very, very busy. Now, to kick things off, to let you know, we have a lot of listeners who are also business owners just like you. So I need your help here. Um, Can you introduce yourself to our audience, maybe starting off with what's your role in the business, Tim? You know, I've got several businesses, to be honest. And, you know, one of my functions that uh, I spend probably my most of my time on is as the operating principal for Keller Williams Realty. And I've got market centers in El Paso, Lubbock, Amarillo, and Midland, Texas. So I can only imagine how busy you are every day. A lot of roles to, for you to fill in. <laughs> it, it, it's busy, but I enjoy it. There, busy is always good for the business, of course. Now, yes. um, how long have you been in the real estate business again? I've been in the in the real estate business since high school. My father was a builder, and then I got my license uh, in 1997. And then we helped start the Keller Williams in Lubbock in 2001. Wow. There in your area, you helped start Keller Williams there. Is that right? That's correct. Wow. Gosh, right there, there's a lot of experience. Now, I'm also curious to know, um, how did you find out about Cyberbacker, Tim? Uh, I found out through my MAPS coach. I have a, a wonderful MAPS coach that's coached with me for several years. Uh, we were talking about some of the things that were challenges for me in my market centers. And we were talking about the need for me to lean in a little bit more on the recruiting front. And so my MAPS coach said, have you ever thought about ha- hiring a virtual assistant to help you set appointments for, um, you know, with these um, prospects? And I said, not really. Tell me about it. And he did. And then I then went to, through the process of interviewing and hiring my first virtual assistant. And that was about two years ago. Two years. Okay. I'm just also curious to know, is, this is your first time working with someone virtually, with Cyberbacker, am I right? That's correct. First time. Now, how was the transition, of course, Someone like you is very used to working with someone who's physically in the office. Of course, a lot of experience. And how was the transition from working with someone who's physically there to now having to work with someone virtually? Was it difficult for you? It was amazingly simple. And I was shocked at how simple it was. And I hired a cyberbacker recruiter. And, and my cyberbacker recruiter n- knew much more about our Keller Williams technology than I did. And so that was surprising. And then I was also just, I loved the results. I loved the ability to literally just come and show up and appointments were on my calendar. And the key information I needed about each appointment was provided by my cyberbacker virtual assistant. And so it really changed the way that I thought about uh, leverage. it, it was affordable, it was efficient, uh, and it was effective. There we go. So as what you mentioned, imagine not doing the phone calls, but having those appointments, right? That's already a huge piece of the leverage right there. That's right. Yes. I, I really had kind of bought into the mindset that you couldn't leverage lead generation until I experienced that you could. And so I found out that that my cyberbacker recruiter actually t- took a piece of my responsibilities off my plate and actually was incredibly effective doing it more even more so than myself and i didn't like doing it and i wasn't good at it and therefore it didn't get done at a high level and then whenever i uh, started using virtual assistants to help me set appointments i was like shocked at how well it worked how efficient and continues to work there we go I mean, my day to day is packed with appointments that were, I don't know if you're familiar with the term R2, but in in our world, these are people that have uh, produced at least eight 
closings in the past 12 months. And I've got multiple appointments all day that were set up by my cyberbacker recruiter. Uh, and that's typical. I'll, I'll travel to one of my market centers and my days will just be filled with appointments. Gotcha. So may, that's her main role right now then, just setting up appointments for you. But I'm also curious to know, what other things that she help does she help you with? Uh, she helps me keep my emails um, managed. I'm horrible at doing emails on my own. You know, I've been known to have several hundred emails unopened. And so now uh, my cyberbacker is is checking my emails and keeping those cleaned out. Uh, she does marketing pieces for me from time to time. I do trainings like around wealth building and she will coordinate all of the um, texting and the uh, emailing to both Keller Williams agents and non Keller Williams agents inviting them to these trainings. Uh, she helps us when we have uh, things like bold or mega camp or family reunion and getting the word out to both our own agents and the and the people we want to tap on the shoulder and invite his guests what you talked about she's really almost everywhere in the business then am i right yes almost everywhere now um before you got partnered with your current cyberbacker, of course, you went through the hiring phase here with us. So I'd like to know more about your experience there. And how did you know that April Rose was the perfect fit for you in the business? Okay, so my first cyberbacker hire, I, I picked her out of after I interviewed, I don't remember, maybe four or five people on Zoom and, and kind of hit a really ho a home run. And so for about three months, it was like too good to be true. First hire was amazing. And then for some health reasons, she had to step down from that role. Then I thought, okay, that'll be easy. I just simply find another person. And the reality was I, I actually hired three more people over a period of maybe two months and none of those three worked out. You know, I went through the same thing thinking I was really good at hiring and, and those three didn't work out. The great thing was is Cyberbacker made it easy for me to say, hey, if this is not a fit, then we'll, we'll get you some more interviews and then we'll find the right person. So after three that didn't work out, then I was blessed to uh, hire April. And April now has been working with me since, I want to say, I may be off a little bit, but uh, January mm -hmm. of 2021. And she's been remarkably good and easy to work with, fun to work with, takes ownership of her job, is pleasant in my business world with all of my other business leaders. Uh, they have high respect for her. You know, that that's kind of the story there. And you know, we've worked well together. We've talked virtually every day. You know, people, whenever I tell them that I've never met her face to face, they can't believe it. And I tell <laughs> them that, you know, she's actually lives in a different country. They're just like shocked. <laughs> so what do you tell them? Hey, um, we'd like to talk. We'd like to thank Rose, something like that. Um, where is she? Does that happen sometimes? It happens sometimes by my own choice. I just, I'm, because I want to help them understand the power of having a virtual assistant. A lot of the conversations with my agents are that they need leverage and they don't know how to hire or they can't think they can afford to hire someone. And so I'll say, well, you know, April, who set this appointment with us is, is my virtual assistant. And so it's that kind of a conversation. I'll say, no, I didn't know that. I said, <laughs> she's pretty amazing, isn't she? She yes, she is. And I'll say, well, that's what a virtual assistant can do for you. There we go. Perfect. Perfect leverage, of course, again, for your business to grow. Now, yes. um, right after that hiring process, of course, we your cyberbacker went through training with us. So did that training in any way help you save any time at all? Well, of course, I assume so, because whenever she came on board, actually online with me, she was already familiar with all of the Keller Williams technology that we needed. We use command at a high level. Let me put it a different way. She uses command at a high level. And so all of our contacts are entered into command, all of the notes, all of the tasks, all of the smart plans are done through the Keller Williams command uh, technology. 
There we go. So again, to all of our listeners, we would be handling the training, of course, for your cyber backers. And good thing about that is the training doesn't stop. It's a continuous process. Every day, every week, we learn something new. All right. Now, I'd like to know more about how your lifestyle has changed, Tim. So when it comes to personal and professional life, how has it changed after being partnered with Cyberbacker? Let's start with maybe professional life first. Well, professionally, we, we were at a challenging time in one of my four market centers where we just needed to grow. You know, we were kind of stalled. We had been uh, flat with our growth for about two and a half years. And, uh, and in Keller Williams world, that's not an okay thing. Uh, you, you know, you're either kind of green and growing or, 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 or red and dying, right? Or, or ripe and rotting, as they say. And so w- we needed to figure out how to get some momentum back. And so my MAPS coach suggested we, tr- we consider trying a cyber backer recruiter. And I was kind of honestly a little bit desperate with limiting beliefs, didn't quite know how to make a change uh, in results. And, and I was kind of at a point where, okay, I'll try anything. And to my really delight, whenever I hired my first cyberbacker recruiter, the results started changing almost immediately. And so I, all I had to do is set the goal on how many appointments I wanted uh, my cyberbacker VA to set, and she would hit it. And so I would come to town and I mean, there were days I would have 10 appointments a day. Wow. And so it was, it was a remarkable change in effectiveness. And then I, then after that, I started actually using my uh, cyberbacker recruiter to help my team leader set appointments. And then to this day, I, I, uh, April helps our recruiting specialist, our assistant team leader set appointments. And so she, she has been able to really do uh, incredible work for not only myself, but for, uh, I've never put her like where she's working with more than one other staff person in my, on my team, but she works really well with, with um, one other person plus myself. There we go. So a lot has changed in, and you're going to continue building on that success. I'm assuming for for the next years to come, right? Well, let me give you let me give you let me give you a couple of numbers. When we we started this process, um, July first, 2020, the year of COVID, Mm -hmm. our market center had 145 agents. We just closed uh, and, and transmitted for the month of April with 267 agents. Wow. A huge jump, almost doubling the numbers. Gosh, in just that time, that yeah, time that's frame. A, that's, less, that's less than two years. Yes, less than and two years. And that's a market center that had been flat for over two and a half years. Gosh, almost doubling the numbers. Imagine what you can do when it, you already hit that two-year mark. You still have a couple of months. Now we have confidence that we can continue yes. to keep our momentum. And, and April is a, a key part of that. Gosh. A huge, huge jump. Imagine just span of less than two years again, if I may reiterate, less than yeah. two years. Gosh, imagine that growth. Now, that's what's been happening in the professional side. But I'd like to know more. How about your personal life, Tim? How has it changed? Well, the main thing is that I'm I'm beginning to, to find ways to allow April. It's not that she hasn't been willing, but I'm allowing mm-hmm. her to take care of emails and mm-hmm. other things for me. And so now instead of asking the question, when can I get to that? I'm asking first the question, I wonder if April could do that, you know, and then I, I'm never disappointed whenever I give her a chance. And so taking over things like email is just freeing up more of my time uh, so that I can spend more time with my grandkids at their ball games and just do some personal family travel and things like that. There we go. More time for the family, of course, yeah. which is also very important. Now, um, Tim, I have one last question for you, and I'm going to put you in the hot seat here. And I bet okay. that Rose, Rose is going to be listening to this. So what is the best part about Rose, your cyberbacker? The thing that I enjoy the most about her is just her personality and how easy she is to, to work with, uh, how pleasant she is, how positive she is, how professional she is. That's on kind of the qualitative side. The quantitative side is the results are just amazing. 
There we go. The results are really, really amazing. And Tim, we are very, very excited to see where this growth is going to be in the more years to come. And of course, we really appreciate you coming back to the show. I hope this isn't the last time. Hey, thank you. It's always my pleasure. You guys have a great day. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.